Hey folks, welcome to another unboxing video on Full Paint Game 10. Today we're unboxing the Deluxe Edition for Tiny Epic Pirates by Scott Alms and published by Cavewind Games. Uh, this is the uh, most recent uh, Kickstarter delivery for backers of this particular title. There's a separate retail version that's going to be out later on as well in the market. So most of the content should be similar, uh, but there is a mini expansion that's uh, that gets included with this version. So just keep that in mind as we go through the contents for this particular box. Uh, I'd also picked up uh, the metal points for these as well as uh three skull ties so we'll have a look at uh, what, what these components look and feel like as well in this video there's an expansion for this obviously as uh that had come out at the same time as well uh the curse of amdiak amdirk i'm hopefully pronouncing that correctly it is a ghost expansion uh for tiny epic pirates so i'll have a separate video for this so keep an eye out for that if that's something that's of interest to you i'll have the link for this down below uh in the description but we'll put this aside for now and we will crack into tiny epic pirates let's see how epic and piratey this particular game is uh, obviously we have the sticker that confirms that this is the deluxe version and then on the back uh, you have uh, quick images of the box and whatnot we'll maybe take the shrink off and perhaps that's going to give us a good view of what's uh, on at the back right here so let's take this off and see what's uh, happening inside all right so first off, uh, the size of the box is going to be very familiar for anybody who's seen uh, any of the other games in this uh, Tiny Epic series, so to speak. Uh, it is an attractive enough uh, cover, so you get to see sort of like a pirate with the uh, bird on, its, on her shoulder. Uh, up on the cover, it's bright, it's colorful, looks good overall. And then on the back, just a quick overview of what you expect or what you might expect in the game itself. Uh, in this version, of course, we get six ship minis. So that's going to be interesting to have a look at that as well. Uh, it is a game for, I don't know if you can make this out here or not, uh, one to four players designed to be played in roughly uh, 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, yep, 30 to 60 minutes. There you go. Uh, ages 14 and above. Uh, it says there is low downtime, high strategy, easy entry, short playtime, high replayability, and a small box. All great things you want in a tiny epic game. Uh, so let's crack into it and see what's inside. Now it is a sturdy box lid and uh, right up front, a very attractive inside on in here. There's a, a photo, or not a photo, sorry, an image uh, artwork of a ship battle that's ongoing with the pirate ship with, uh, I don't know, maybe like the English Navy or something like that. Either way, it's very attractive uh, box inside, uh, sorry, box, the inside of the box lid. Uh, next up, we have uh, the pirate's code. It's a neat little uh, touch to basically say that this is the rule book. Uh, so we get to see all the different content that we can expect to see in the box itself. Uh, there's a prologue of sorts, resources, game setup so it looks like there's quite a few steps happening in here so perhaps not the lightest or fastest game uh, to set up but uh, should have a reasonably uh, smaller footprint uh, compared to pit box okay so hopefully gameplay overview uh, turn structure so you're going to be sailing executing orders uh, triggering bonus actions crossing the ship lane uh, how you can choose the orders assigning deck hands sailing your pirate ship storms getting jostled, uh, executing captain's orders, plunders. So there's a, a few things happening in here. It's, it does not seem very light. Grew up, mutiny, search, attack. Uh, so there's definitely uh, an element of conflict in the game by the look of things. Uh, you have hideouts, bonus action sequence, triggering bonus actions, burning pressure, uh, bonus actions continued, quite a few descriptions, crossing the ship line, attacking the Navy, Gaining Legend, next button, end of game. Uh, there's a solo uh, rule for this as well with the Legendary Pilot, so it has its own setup. Uh, and I'm guessing sort of like a specific uh, turn structure, uh, uh, things that might be unique for the solo setup. So that's in there, solo pirate attack. But for the main game itself, I do have to say that there is, uh, it's not a light game. Uh, there definitely does seem to be a uh, few things happening in here. So. Uh, anyways, uh, it's always an interesting series to sort of like tap into and see what's in there. 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the uh, bonus deluxe content. So it's the mini expansion that comes with the game. Uh, the retail version of the game should be everything else that's in here. This is the extra stuff uh, that you get with the mini expansion. I think, don't quote me on it, I'll, even though this is going online. Uh, but we'll, we'll crack into this at the very end. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. We'll have a look at that in a second. Let's crack into these. So these are pre-punched tokens by the look of things. Uh, which we can confirm if I can get into it. Yep. So, a uh, few different pieces in here. These are sort of like, uh, these go on the action wheel uh, uh, that you can sort of like select actions on, on your turn. Uh, these might be certain things that you can pick up from the map itself, if I remember the rules correctly. Uh, nice. So, thickness is... All right, nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. It should uh, stand up well. And again, it's an interesting choice to have these pre-punched and set in the bag, but of course it also makes sense because it reduces the thickness of the box, as it were. A lot more wooden pieces. Let's have a look at what these are very quickly. Hopefully this will go back in the box easily enough because uh, it, it is a very compact form factor, obviously. Nice wooden pieces uh these are these are on the lighter end so these are not very they don't feel very heavy or sturdy uh but these are silk printed so it, it certainly looks uh nice enough and this is a pretty neat uh little token right here if you can make it out so priority shenanigans ongoing on the map i'm sure and uh i guess you have these in different uh play colors do we uh i think so yeah, there's about four of them, so I think that should cover it for each of the players. Uh, standard wooden meeples in two different sizes, larger and small. Let's have a quick look at uh, what these uh, look like. Again, uh, standard wooden pieces, uh, not much to write home about, uh, but should get the job done. So that's there. Wooden cubes with some other uh, kind of pieces. We'll have a quick look at what these are. These are just standard wooden cubes. Uh, I'll put these aside. I want to bring out the one that I just uh, had my eye on that was not a standard wooden cube. Uh, there we go. So if you can make it out, that's sort of like a cannon. Oops, I'll bring out another. It's like a, uh, a cannon about to fire off. Boom! Kind of a thingy. Uh, nice. Uh, good stuff so far. All right, so that's the bag. Do we dare look at the ships? Let's look at the ships. I'm gonna bring. So it looks like uh, the main body is, and there's a few of these. So uh, let's bring all of them out. Why not? All right, so there are two different kind of ships in here. So you have the larger ones and then you have the smaller ones. I don't know what the difference is. I assume these are perhaps not for the, these are not the main player pieces because there's only two of these. Uh, these might be the main player pieces uh, as it were, uh, but the sails are separate. So let's maybe bring out the uh, appropriate sail and have a look at that very quickly. So, we want the red for this. There we go. This maybe goes in there. This goes in there. Right? Or did I get it backwards? I'm not sure, but we'll pretend that this is the right uh, structure. So it's it's pretty neat that you can have like uh, uh, these nice detailed plastic pieces in a box that is of the size. Uh, but I assume that for you to be able to put these back in the box, you would need to have these taken off. So it's uh, there's gonna be a bit of a uh, putting together and then dismantling exercise every time you're taking this in and out of the box. But uh, uh, it's obviously not too hard as you saw uh, me putting it on. It's fairly easy and fast to do. Uh, level of detail is fairly decent for something of this size. It is quite decent. I'm pretty happy with these. All right, so that's there. Let's move these to the side. Let's have a look at what else we have in here. So there's a set of cards. 
and uh, it's on the thinner end. I wish that the stock was a little bit thicker, uh, but it does have a nice finish on it, so that's good uh, on that front. Uh, these are, I guess, the uh, ship captains that you might be uh, working with and double-sided, so there's artwork on both sides. It looks like each one of these has a uh, male and female representation, so that's great for uh, to make sure that everybody feels included. Um, in terms of the gameplay. And then we have different, uh, I don't know, crew members, I guess, that you might have in the game. Uh, the artwork overall is nice. Uh, it definitely has a pleasing uh, animation style of aesthetic to it. Uh, then you have the, I guess these are ship cards maybe, uh, at different levels perhaps, because uh, they do seem to scale up from two to eight. Uh, and overall, uh, I'm, I'm happy with the quality of these. Uh, I'm definitely happy with the artwork on these cards as well. Now, it looks like there's already a bag with four uh, coins in here. Obviously we have this larger bag with uh, so many more, but these do seem to be identical. Are they identical? They might be, well, I, I think they are, but we'll verify this very quickly at the end. Uh, but let's have a look at what these metal coins look like for now. And there's only four in the main uh, box itself. So if you did not get the uh, extra add-on, uh, you will have four of these in the box. Uh, definitely for the deluxe one, not sure if it's gonna be there for the retail version as well or not, but uh, uh, at least if you wanna pick it up, you can get a sense on the quality. Now these are fairly small in size, uh, but they're, the heft is decent for the size in itself. But keep in mind, again, just given the form factor of the box and everything, these are fairly small. Uh, but other than that, I, I'm generally happy with this. Uh, it is a little on the shinier end, and I, and I guess I can understand why they went with that aesthetic. It's more of the uh, gold, you know, a coin sort of a, a feel to it. Uh, but I wish it had a little bit more of a... Uh, a little bit more uh, used texture or darker uh, texture on it that made feel like uh, actual used points. Uh, but overall, not, uh, no issues for me. These are these are fairly good as they are. So that's there. Let's put the well. We'll put these back properly later on. Uh, next up, now these are the standard dice that will come in the game box, uh, which just at first glance are not bad at all. Uh, they seem to be fairly decent. Uh, the texture is not too bad. The size again, a little on the smaller side, but these are rounded edged. So rolling them should not be an issue whatsoever. Uh, next up, Tiny Epic Pirates comes with a Tiny Epic draw bag. Uh, fairly small, you're not gonna be shoving your whole hand in there, obviously, uh, but you would have tokens and I guess you can pitch them out, perhaps. Uh, overall, uh, aside from the size, the quality does seem to be decent. You do have uh, the name printed on it. Uh, yeah, not, not much else to say, except it's functional, uh, but again, uh, small, but understandable considering the size of the box, which we seem to be going back to uh, quite a bit. Uh, sorry about the cutout there, folks. So there was a bit of a background noise. So hopefully we're back now and we can crack into these cards. Um, so these are going to be sort of like your, uh, almost like your play board. Uh, you will have your different uh, action tokens on this wheel over here with your captain moving around, doing the different actions uh, on in there. Uh, and these are double-sided. I don't know what the difference between the two sides are. There might be asymmetry in the rule, or maybe the other one is for the solo campaign. I'm not sure, but these are double-sided, so keep that in mind. Uh, the stock quality, again, a uh, little on the thinner side, but again, it's, again understandable uh, given the fact that you have to cram all of these things into such a small form factor. So you have uh, uh, the four different uh, ship cards, as it were, uh, as well as uh, these will also uh, go to each of the uh, individual players, which will mark down different levels of capability that you can uh, work with, as it were. Uh, so that's there, and these are double-sided too. There's something happening on the other side. The, the, this might be the AI setup, and they are different. As you can see, these are not identical actions. 
something to figure out once uh, uh, I'm more familiar with the rules, as it were. Uh, now, this is... I don't know what this is. Might be a bit of a market card, perhaps. I don't know. But again, the artwork is lovely. It's nice. I like the look and aesthetics of it. And the texture on these cards are fairly decent as well. And then lastly, we have the different map cards, which will basically form your main play area, as it were. Uh, these are not double-sided. Uh, these are single-sided. Uh, but the artwork is, again, good. Uh, you can zoom in and have a look at uh, sort of like the level of... The level of detail is not bad. Uh, each of the different land does seem to have its own uh, set of details. Some obviously more detailed than others. Uh, but overall, fairly happy with these. These do not seem to be uh, copies of one another, but each one of these do seem to be unique. Yeah, nice. And there's definitely quite a few of these, so I don't know if you use all of these in the same game or not, uh, but uh, there definitely is a lot of these cards, as it were. Neat. So that's all the stuff that we get in the core game itself. Now we'll just have a quick look at the expansion stuff that we had set aside at the very start of the video. Let's see what's in here. So, first up, uh, we get some of these uh, larger cards. So there's one extra of each of these in there. There's a tiny epic uh, uh, expansion rulebook, I'm gonna call it that. Uh, Crimson Silver, okay, so that's the name of the mini expansion uh, that is in the game. So this uh, expansion is in there and that gives you sort of like the rules and unique uh, whatnots with the uh, expansion and what it brings into the game. Then we have the different crew cards. Does not look like there are any ship captains in here. Uh, but there's six of these, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six of these in the expansion. And then lastly, we get some wooden pieces. I do have no idea what these do, but I'm sure I am intrigued to find out what they do. And these are... Hello. Oops, I did not I open it properly. Silly. All right. So, we have some standard wooden cubes. Brown ones. I'm not going to spend too much time on those. I do want to have a quick look at what these are. And these are uh, identical wooden pieces. I don't know if these are meant to be castles or forts. But these are wooden, these are silk printed. Uh, not a huge fan of the color, uh, but they look, they look nice. Stuff. I'm, and again, it's not a criticism of these, uh, these pieces or anything. I'm just not a huge fan of the yellow and brown combination. Uh, there are better color combinations, I personally feel. Uh, but these are, these are nice enough for what they are. And these are fairly light as well. Uh, so there we go. That's all that comes in the main game box for Tiny Epic Pirates. Let's have a quick look at some of the other pieces that we had put aside at the very start. And I am 99.9% .9 sure that the metal coins are actually identical. So let's take one from here, one from here, and compare. Yep. All right, these are the same. Never mind. There we go. And then lastly, uh, the three other dice that we got as part of this uh, uh, set. And I think these are more decorative than anything else. Uh, so these feel at least a little bit bigger at first glance. Uh, they feel nicer. They're not really that heavy. They're still fairly light. Uh, but there is some unique artwork going on in here. So I don't know if you can make it out or not, but as you can see, this actually is not just two pips on it. It looks like a grumpy skull, maybe. Whereas this has the look of a lock or something. Yeah, so it is, there's definitely unique stuff happening uh, in, in these. Uh, but again, uh, in terms of rolling, Actually, they don't roll quite that bad. I was actually afraid that they might not roll quite as easily as the other ones, uh, but they do. Uh, and that's pretty much it for everything that comes in the box for Tiny Epic Pirates. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
Uh, if you liked it, do give a like, uh, do give us a like down below. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And in the meanwhile, I'll see you the next one. And don't forget to check out the other video for the expansion. See you guys soon.